Hey, Mike and Adirne. I wanted to uh, bring you here and chat about this new provider framework that you've released. I have some questions for you today. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. Happy to be here. So what is this framework and who's it for? Yeah, so the framework is really for any multi-site facility organization that uses third-party contractors. And we built it to help anybody who's in that kind of position just elevate the performance, get the most out of the, the network of providers that they have. Um, and in those times where they need to make changes, go find great new providers and then continuously improve over time. Cool. So how did you go about defining this in the first place? Uh, well, we went and talked to a lot of people who, who know about this, right? So uh, we talked to you know dozens of folks uh, on the service channel team who are former facility managers. We talked to dozens of our customers and we went outside and talked to a lot of facility experts just to really get their feel on how they have kind of continuously nurtured and fostered great relationships with their providers. We took that and, and put it into a framework that we could deliver out to, to, the, to the industry. So how does the process work? So we approach the framework through four key actions. The first one is really to collect data and understand performance. Once you understand performance, you can move on to that section act, second action, which is really to uncover the opportunities in your network. You're gonna find that you've got top performers and those folks are people that you're gonna to wanna to encourage and praise and thank for doing great work. It's gonna be some folks that are in the middle that you might wanna coach along on some specific areas where they can really meet your needs. And then you're gonna always have some underperformers and those underperformers you know, might need replacement, um, which in that case brings you to the third action, which is identifying providers that can actually kind of have an impact for your network. Um, you know, when you bring providers on, you really have to help them understand what your expectations are. So ramping them up and making sure that they understand what you expect is going to drive long-term success. When you're satisfied with that, then you can move on to kind of our fourth action, which is where you really kind of optimize your network for the providers you have. You expand those new providers that are doing great work and you really start to build resiliency and strengthen your network for the long term. So why is it becoming more important now to keep an eye on network health? There are, there are a lot of trends, you know, in the industry. The first one is the fact that there's a shortage of technicians. The baby boomers are retiring. There are fewer young people that are getting into the trades. Uh, so it's really hard to find people that are doing good work. So it's really important that you keep an eye on the performance and the data, because even providers that you may have been working with in the past that were delivering good service, if they're technicians, which are the ones that are actually doing the work, are retiring or you know they're going somewhere else and you're getting new technicians, you want to make sure that they're still delivering the right service. Uh, also, like some providers are not taking new work, right? Uh, so you want to make sure that those that are doing great work for you, like praise them, you know, like make sure that they're happy with you too, right? Like it's a relationship mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And then those that are really not doing good work, you want to be able to identify like several options uh, that you can work with to figure out like who can work with you. Great. So you mentioned some of these outcomes, but like, what can someone expect once they've put the framework into place? You know, what are they going to get out of it? I mean, hopefully what they're going to get is they're going to get the best out of the providers that they have already. And then they're going to be able to uncover and identify those areas to go improve. Um, so much of managing a network is making sure that your providers understand what you expect of them so that they can actually deliver on those promises. And if you create structure around that, it's a lot easier to communicate it and get the results that you want. So yeah, overall improvement of provider networks is kind of the, is the long-term goal. Yeah. So if somebody wants to learn more and get started, where should they begin? Well, I mean, the first thing is go get the framework, go download the framework and, and dig into it. Um, I think once you get into it, you're going to find out that the place to start is by looking at data, right? And collecting performance data and starting to understand, you know, how your providers stack up. Well, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. <laughs> to learn more, click the link in the comments below. If you don't see it, just sort by most recent. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Stick to the script. Come on. <laughs> Discipline. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Discipline. <laughs>